Hey guys, how's it going? Chandler Petit here, and today we're going to be doing the basic machine exercises, which is a really, really good foundation, uh, whether you're trying to build muscle, gain strength, or just, you know, fitness in general. Let's say you're a little bit older, you're trying to get back into the gym, or you haven't been before, or you're a beginner. It's a very good place to start and build a foundation. Now, uh, one of the exercises, the first one, bodyweight squats, obviously that's not a machine exercise, but it's a very, very important movement. There's a lot of muscles that come into play. You're working the abdominals, you're actually working the lower back, glutes, hamstrings, quads, calves, a lot of muscles come into play and it's a very functional exercise, which at the end of the day, that's what you want. You know, you bring functionality in there. So that being said, let's go into the workout. And um, as far as the rest between sets goes, you wanna keep that around uh, anywhere between 30 and 45 seconds, but take rest as needed. So go a little bit longer if you need to. All right, guys, let's hit the gym. All right, so we're gonna start this workout with body weight squats. Now I'm standing on this pedestal here uh, that allows me to hold on to this little handle that actually helps me keep my torso upright, chest out, uh, my, keeping my gaze slightly upwards, which is what you want. And I'm bringing my thighs just below parallel, and then when I come back up, I'm trying to push off the heels while keeping my feet planted, and that's the proper form for the bodyweight squats. And then after that, I'm going to go into the lying leg curls here. Now, the important part is that you want to bring your legs in far enough so that the pad actually touches your hamstrings, get a nice squeeze, and bring it back. Slow and controlled is the name of the game here. So don't sacrifice uh, you know, a whole bunch of weight for sloppy form. You know, really focus, feel the movement, feel the contraction. All right, so what we have after this is going to be calf raises. So that way we get uh, hit all the muscles in the legs. You don't want to neglect the calves. As far as form goes, um, you know, you'll be on the balls of your feet Go down far enough on your heels so you get a nice little stretch. Then come up on your tiptoes. And once again, I'm doing this on the pedestal again. If you don't have anything you could use um, to get your heels down in your gym, you could always just get a few uh, 25s or 45-pound plates, put them on the ground, and um, just do it that way. Make yourself a little platform. And now with the legs being done, we're moving into upper body, starting with the pulling motion in the back, since it's the largest muscle group in the upper body. Now as far as form goes, you want to keep the grip outside of shoulder width, bring the handles down to about your neck and back up so you're keeping constant tension. And remember, slow and controlled, really feel the weight and feel the movement in the back. You do that by keeping when you go down, bringing your elbows towards you. Now we move into the chest press. Now as far as form on this one, you want to keep your shoulder blades pinched together. See how my chest is kind of uh, puffed out here a little bit? That's because I'm keeping my shoulders on the seat the entire time. When I push out, I'm trying not to lock out completely, keeping constant tension on the chest. And now we have the shoulder press. Now notice uh, how I'm holding on to the handles on this one. My grip is outside of shoulder width. I'm pushing straight up, looking in the direction I'm pressing, and bringing the uh, handles down just below my ears before I push back up, keeping constant tension. Now if your shoulder's bothering you uh, while you're moving it like that, try doing it this way instead. Notice how my palms are facing each other. That'll definitely help reduce um, you know, any issues in the rotator cuff and uh, should make the exercise more tolerable if you have an issue with doing it the other way. And now we have the tricep press down. So with this one, you keep in the movement in the forearms. My upper arms are right by my side. So go up as far as your forearms will allow you and then push down, bringing the bar to the thighs. And we have the preacher machine curls here. So you're gonna wanna keep your upper arm on the pad and go ahead, stand up, grab the bar, and then sit into it. As far as form goes, you want to start with your forearms parallel to the ground and then bring them up as high as they'll go towards your shoulders, getting a nice squeeze in the biceps, and then back down. And then go ahead and repeat that. 
Remember, it's all about being slow and controlled. And last we have the ab crunches on the machine. Let's tighten up the core and you do that by doing these movements. Now what you want to do is actually put your elbows on the pad. That's more important than holding onto the handles next to my head. So drive with the elbows, exhale on the way in, squeeze the abs extra hard, come back up. And you don't have to go all the way back either. Just go back so your torso is uh, about 90 degrees up and then come back down into it, getting that nice squeeze. And don't forget to breathe. Breathing is important. All right, guys. So that was the exercise. Now, given the fact that it is a uh, full body workout, you do want to take ample time to rest since you worked uh, all the muscle groups. So you want to give it at least 48 hours before you attempt the workout again. And you're going to want to do this about three times a week, four times at the max. Uh, obviously, you know, throw in cardio. Focus on the nutrition aspect of things. Remember, it's 80% nutrition, 20% training. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to reach out to me. Hit that like and subscribe button, guys. I really appreciate it. Take care.